Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, and it's April 24th. Hey, we don't got any economic news releases scheduled for today. Uh, Wednesday will also be another light day, so most of our economic news releases this week would take place on Thursday and Friday. Um, tomorrow we'll have the case Schiller, but the main ones will be Thursday and Friday. Thursday we'll have the uh, durable goods orders coming up. For Friday, we'll have the big one, which is the Q1 uh, GDP numbers. So, of course, we're going to want to see what the Q1 GDP numbers are going to look like here. So, let's go ahead and take a look here at the uh, headline news. And right now, the stock market is actually looking very good. And it's on the heels of the French elections. So, the French elections uh, came in. Uh, they're very pleased with it. Uh, the two main people is uh, Le Pen and Macron. Uh, Macron is the favorite. Uh, Macron is basically the one wants to keep the status quo where Le Pen wants to go ahead and maybe pull from the EU uh, but Macron heavily favored for the runoff coming May 7th uh, so those two people will advance to the runoff and uh, the markets like it so of course you know with the polls stating that Macron might be the winner therefore you know the investors are a little bit more pleased because they are concerned about any more destabilization in the EU at this point. Also, uh, Trump had uh, texted out that he was going to release his massive tax plan this week. Uh, I believe it was going to be Wednesday. So that's going to uh, that's kind of getting the markets a little bit excited or feel a little bit more optimistic this week as well. So uh, it appears that maybe Wednesday we'll hear a little bit more information as to the details of that tax plan uh, going forward here. Uh, bond market, here we are. We, uh, As I indicated last week, um, that we're, when you're up in these highs, maybe take advantage of those, lock in as much as possible. As you can see, we had a slight uh, uh, trend going downwards, which meant rates were going up. And then today, we really uh, dropped. It really dropped off. We dropped. We started off about 22 basis points uh, lower uh, for the day. Uh, we even touched off, as you can see here, this green line here, which is the 25-day moving average, which is our first, basically our first level of support right now, and it bounced up. So right now, we're only about 13 basis points lower than when we left off on uh, Friday, uh, but still enough for rates to go up. So again, uh, I would highly urge you to make sure you lock in. Uh, as you can see with these 10-day uh, moving averages, we've got the resistance levels, we've got the 25-day uh, moving average here uh, levels here. It's going to get a little bit more complex as to where we're going to find our support and our resistance here. So be a little bit more cautious as to um, moving forward here. Uh, again, I would still kind of lock in, and it doesn't mean that this is at the end of where we're going to go because, if anything, with a lot of the good news here, you know, with uh, with France and the massive tax plan, uh, you know, that could kind of hurt. But the GDP, if it disappoints quite a bit here coming forward on Friday, um, you know, that would probably help out the bond market because stock market would be a little concerned with the Fed in a raising rate environment, and and the GDP has uh, dropped off. Uh, significantly or not so those will be important uh, numbers coming out Friday so we'll have a lot so expect a lot of volatility in other words uh, for this week but again as we mentioned rates have uh, went up a bit today compared to where we left off on Friday and uh, that pretty much concludes it folks if you guys want to get more updates throughout the day just come over to Twitter you can find me at Mike Bjork on Twitter I do post th updates throughout the day so you can see if the market has changed or not and uh, also, if you guys are looking to go ahead and uh, refinance or look to buy a home, I can help you guys out as well. I am a mortgage originator. I do help out people with uh, fi finding the financing for their needs on, in terms of buying a home or even with uh, their different abilities of being able to take money out of the properties or you know, taking money out of their homes and maybe consolidate some debt or uh, some investments or different things like that they, they may have or maybe want to just get lower their rate on so on their home uh, those are different things i can do with the refinances as well just feel free to reach out to me have a wonderful day i look forward to talking to you guys soon or seeing you guys soon uh see you tomorrow and uh take care